Remain seated, please. Siéntate sentados, por favor. I might have butchered that, I don't know. There's just folks sitting in Skyway buckets. No big deal. What are you standing in line for? Skyway bucket. <laughs> Has anyone started a petition to bring back the people mover yet? I wonder what Walt would think if he saw all this. Welcome to something or other tour. We're going wild. I bought things from Disneyland and brought them here. Welcome to the Something or Other Tour. We're at That's From Disneyland, an exhibit and auction here in Sherman Oaks, California. A private collector by the name of Richard Kraft has been collecting this for over 25 years and he's putting it all up for auction, but he decided to put it on display so that the public could enjoy it before it gets scattered to all these private owners. So here we are, checking it out. Disneyland memorabilia. Let's go. Special guest. Not so special guest. I miss these prices. It's cool seeing the concept art of things that they never actually built. Such a big collection of the maps. I actually have a bunch of those too. Nothing on the legend. Compared to now, there's like, yeah. you know, information booth. Um, you know, yep. make, make, <laughs> makeup corners. This is my favorite old school Disneyland special. Louis Armstrong literally plays on the Mark Twain. It's amazing. Disney YouTuber worth their salt has already done a video here, but I don't care. I had to come see this. When that thing was on the Disneyland Hotel, you would have never guessed it was that big. It was giant, dude. When you saw it way up on the hotel, you'd think it was yay big. Yeah. <laughs> sell that anymore. Growing up, we would only go to Disneyland once a year for like our big trip. So seeing what was in the Main Street windows was always a big thrill. Old parking lot signs. That makes me so nostalgic. They separated the different areas by land, which is pretty cool. It's hard to hear, but it's actually playing Swiss Capulco, like it did when it was still at Disneyland. I used to walk all the way to the Disneyland Hotel just to play with these. Wow, look at the whole handle. <laughs> it's our main man, Jose.
I want to go so bad. This is the canoe that you down the river, right? Maybe crack it, dude. Dude, we talking kayaks? We talking news here? <laughs> you want to paddle about in this son of a gun, or what? You want to hit the high seas in this bad boy, or what? <laughs> Absolutely, <laughs> the real boats. Canoes are the only theme park ride where they actually put you to work. From the coyotes from, from the America. from the Indian village. That's cool. Rivers of America is my favorite thing at Disneyland, so I love seeing that. That'd be so tight. Country Bear Playhouse. That's so sick. Yeah. Dude, they got the freaking golden horseshoe in there. Oh man. Yeah. Big Thunder Ranch is gone now. It's gonna become Star Wars Galaxy's Edge, the new Star Wars land. These old attraction posters are so beautiful. Like, I love the art style. I have this poster on my wall at home. I miss the people mover so much. We're talking full blown people mover. I was excited to get in this one, but they don't let you in this one. Yeah, I wanna get in here. Talking rocket rods? I love the rocket rods. I don't care what anyone says. I loved it. Although I like the people mover more. This rocket rod's in rough shape. That's what replaced the people mover. Oh, what? And that's gone now too, right? Yeah. This only lasted like a year and a half, and I loved it. I was the only person that loved it. If you think these are real trash cans, they ain't. <laughs> I think this used to be in the Disney Gallery above Parks of the Caribbean. Space Mountain. Seeing the inside of this makes me so nostalgic. These used to not have the speakers up top though. I used to crank that bad boy. Yeah, I rode this one time. But, ah. <laughs> I used to yank that lever as hard as I could. <laughs> That guy's having a ball doing this.
I am overwhelmed right now. I saw one of these at the last auction I went to. of this. Dude, this makes me want to go so bad. kidding me? So the gag of the original submarine boys ride, you see all these giant serpent parts and you're like scared, and then you get to the front and he has a really goofy dumb face. Serpentine! Full blown serpent. There's a hefty snake. <laughs> It's crazy, I looked at this thing my whole childhood in the water on the submarine voyage. Now it's just right here. If you could have one thing in here, what would you pick? The Pirates of the Caribbean statue guy. Really? Yeah. No, I, I'd have to go with People Mover. Really? <laughs> what would you do with it? Put it in your garage? Yeah, have picnics out in the backyard. <laughs> that would be cute. Wouldn't it? So Our Skyway cool. bucket, put a little table in there. I would also love to have the Big Thunder Ranch sign. That's, that's from Disneyland exhibit. Hope you guys enjoy. Check out our other videos about more Disneyland stuff. Including Walt Barn. Like, subscribe, share. Do all the cool things cool kids do. Go watch the other videos, crying out loud. <laughs> More Disneyland stuff coming someday. <laughs> soon. On the on the soonish ends of soon. Yes, I'm sure. Yes, Charlie. Okay, Leonard Maltin. Wow. We talking Brooke Lopez. We literally saw him at Disneyland last year. We're hanging out with him. We're real good friends. <laughs>